Hello everyone! So for today's episode, I will be sharing to you my experience with Sinovac in Marikina City. The world almost stopped spinning as the pandemic havocs all countries. Most industries were affected, millions of people lost their jobs, families losing their loved ones, and many people anxiously take each day for the fear of getting the disease. The pandemic has changed how we lived, learn, interact, and work. According to studies, getting herd immunity through mass vaccination is the best countermeasure available to reduce the burden of the pandemic. It will allow us to return to our everyday lives without face masks, face shields, social distancing, and other minimum health protocols. Once we are fully vaccinated and reach herd immunity, we can start doing more things, activities we need to do and want to enjoy. But if we will not get vaccinated, there is a bigger chance for us to be infected. We also risk giving it to loved ones who may get very sick. Let us get vaccinated and encourage others. Here is how we got our first shot. I saw a Facebook post about the online registration of Marikina City. So I registered last May 19, 2021. The vaccination coordinators delivered my appointment letters and texted me for my appointment which they set for May 27, 2021. On the day of the vaccination, we headed to Marikina's sports complex for our first dose. When we arrived, I saw that the vaccination process was impressive as they have an excellent system. They have a list of names for those scheduled for that day and have prepared sets of forms for us to fill out. They also have groups of ushers to help us and direct us to our respective lanes. Ushers and other staffs were friendly as they smiled and greeted us as we passed by their post. The line was fast and organized. Ushers also advised us on what to do to make the process easier. After filling out the forms and falling in line in waiting areas, we reached the station to get the vital signs and body temperature. The site was breezy with lots of trees around. Thank God it is not raining that day. Then we reached step one, which is the registration some documents, screening, and short interview. After a few minutes, step two, which is the actual vaccination performed by medical practitioners. I noticed they have almost 20 doctors that day that makes the process very fast. I also heard that for that day, they have estimated to administer 3,500 shots. The moment of truth, we will get the Sinovac vaccine. Our family doctor and some doctor friends advised us not to be choosy on vaccine brands. All vaccines were safe and effective to prevent infections and complications due to the virus. It is important to be immunized. Lastly, step 3. It is the observation station where doctors deliver short talks to educate us about the COVID and the vaccine. Our first immunization shots took less than an hour from our arrival. Before leaving the facility, we got some photos to celebrate the day we got vaccinated. They advise us to go to the second dose vaccination site after 28 days, which will be on June 24, 2021. This is how we got fully vaccinated. The day before the scheduled immunization, I received text messages from Marikina City office reminding me of my appointment. We arrive at the second dose mega vaccination of Marikina in an elementary school at 8.30 a.m. We get the forms for vaccination and then fall in line. According to one usher, they estimate to vaccinate approximately 2,000 for that day. There were lots of people in the line when we arrived. Ushers are present to guide us for the directions and keep the waiting lanes in order. They direct us when to stand and when to move forward. After falling in line at, at the waiting area, we reached the step 1A for the registration and vital signs, then step 1B for the assessment and short interview, then the most awaited step 2 for the vaccination. After a short time, ushers then advise us to wait for a few minutes while watching health reminders from the city of Marikina. We also got some stickers and took photos at the designated photo area. We left the facility before 10 a.m. With a better immune system after the second dose, can we return to our old normal? Life may not go back to the old routine and the new normal may stay longer than we know.
Still, there are lots of reasons to get vaccinated. First, you'll have a better immunity against the virus. Second, less risk of getting hospitalized and die of COVID. Three, fewer chances of you infecting other people, especially those who are close to you. Four, contributing to the target for herd immunity. If you are still hesitant to get vaccines, please get answers to your questions from medical professionals and not from social media and other people spreading conspiracy theories and fake information. Lastly, let us continue to pray that this pandemic will end soon. Let us pray for people suffering from COVID, families with lost loved ones, people experiencing anxiety and depression because of this pandemic. Marami pong salamat.